guilty bronze. Someone's taking my hand, pointing me towards this brown-coloured sedan I don't remember getting into before. I bet it's you. Yeah, you, Dad. I know you're watching all this unfold, seeing straight into the home you built with Mum. What was it, 60 years ago? Close enough to see me unfold and curl up weeping in the same shallow breath. Lead us somewhere, mate. Anywhere but here. I love that Falcon 500. Eyes barely above the steering wheel. My friends called it the beast, the car you taught me to drive in. What's the view like up there? Bet there's a bar and a tote and pain is a memory and the roads are open and smooth. Mum and I are still here. And in dream, still think you are too. So much for dreams, eh, Star? When I'm not looking, you pull up next to us at the lights, beer in hand, telling us about the party at so-and-so's place. We take off at speed together, burning each other off like in the old days. Sunday breakfasts at King's Cross, hangovers, schmangovers. Ain't we had our share, mate? You and I could sink a ship with our vows of abstinence. Me at 50, you living on the Lord's time, and... Since you're offering, I could do with a drive, actually. My pen is racing ahead of my memory, dripping from my age. Mum, twitching in her bed, asked me to ask you, have you seen any couples reunited since you arrived? She's hoping to visit you soon. All the books are piled high, wider than a suburb with a full fuel tank. Myself, I like long, curved roads, the colour of traffic lights, the shape of the earth turning, the feel of stories untold. I didn't mind so much. You're an absent father. You were planning for my retirement before I was born. Then, at 75, you started planning for your own old age and it overtook you like you were parked at a red. Now we're over the river, out past the city limits. The only lights are those on the dashboard. I miss you as the soil longs for roots to fill it. Let's keep driving a while. Relentless regime of work and booze and more work and more. The role that caught up with you when you made it to the bridge and were forced to pay the toll. Mum's falling asleep at the wheel. Losing sight of the brothers and sisters and sons she cared for. Turns to me and asks where Dad is. What Eric is up to. His life is with her as we drive by. Other voices by the roadside. Work colleagues from Red Cross, Berkey, Flapper, Mr Frank, the two Anns, Hopscotch at Ogilvy. And that fella. He used to come in when she was a secretary. Charmed her with words sweet and light as marshmallows. To whom she gave a hand. Yeah, mate. I'm talking about you. Those urging 20-something seasons, eh? Though the road has its pitfalls, it's still been worth the drive. Here, with all these vehicles around us, fewer after twilight, some are broken down, others have pulled over, the rest have either made it safely home, crashed into the great unknown, or pulled over to rest, letting my pen catch up, to where we're approaching, 
Bruni Island from the top deck of the Mirambina in the time of the harvest and what comes after. The shack you and mum built there and sold for a song. You were way ahead of your time, mate. These days, it'll probably go for two million. Mum's honeysuckle smile, that naughty twinkle in your eye. Your old sayings pour over me like champagne at the finish line. We battle on star with great courage and not a lot of cash. We've clocked up our years like miles towards that engraved final dash. I've never seen you more clearly than I do tonight. Our love is off the shelf. My pen flows ahead of itself. The sins we tasted, the hours we wasted, will sing their own song when the three of us are gone. But I'll always be my mother's son and do not count her in that number. The sun perfects an ocean wave. The night sky reflects a pond of love. Pills, cup, syringe in hand salve the lonely hours of the day. I'm almost out of petrol. The old falcon is an antique now and the onlookers have dispersed as onlookers tend to do. It's just you, me, and mum, and this road through my cherished memories of her and you. Begrudgingly, Dad, you felt the breeze of the chequered flag wafting as you passed. Mum isn't far behind, a reluctant second. I guess I'll settle for a guilty bronze and some too late thoughts. Mum and Dad, didn't we run our race? I feel your hearts and time with mine together on the days.